Hey everybody, this is Ryan. Welcome to another episode of Legendary Looters. I am here with Behringer. Hello! And uh, we are talking about the news that just came out. The terrorists have officially won. Uh, the interview, the movie, is not going to be shown. How did you die instantly? I, I got frosted and then, I don't know, I explosions. Died. And then, yeah. 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 We haven't yeah. played this game in weeks. Call in the kettle black now, are we? <laughs> anyway. The, inter the movie The Interview is not going to be shown in theaters. It was just announced today that um, you know, all the, the major theaters pulled it. Then Sony pulled it because everybody else was pulling it. And um, so how do you feel about that? I mean, literally, the terrorists won this round. Right. And you know what? what's like... I, I should say, um, if those people that don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's, I think it was actually confirmed today that North Korea was behind the Sony hacking, where they hacked into all the emails and everything, and then they threatened massive violence and killings if any movie theaters played uh, this movie that uh, was supposed to come out, I think, this week, maybe next week, and so that's why everybody pulled it, just in case you don't know what's going on. Anyway, sorry, go Baron. <laughs> nope, that's, that's pretty much it, and you know, the, the movie is about, you know, trying to assassinate, you know, the leader of North Korea, uh -huh. and, ended up falling in love with him because he's such a nice guy. <laughs> he brings puppies and, you know, and they go out blowing things up with their tank and he's, you know, they hang out just like they do in like, you know, the hangover or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's obviously a comedy and it's ridiculous. But, uh, you know, I don't really know necessarily what their problem was, you know, if they were mad because it was showing him being funny or if it portrayed the CIA trying to assassinate him, you know? Like, yeah. I guess I don't know of any other movies where like, they pick a real life figure of yeah, they an actual go in with power a fake movie. Country, like even if you know what country it is, it's always still fake. Yeah, and it's it's a fake leader uh -huh. or very you know similar kind of a thing. I would say yeah. the only other thing would be Trey Parker, you know, Team America, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and true. they got death. They still get death threats about that movie, you know. So there's there's that. Um, but I guess they threatened. They found a bunch of like the black. They were blackmailing Sony, right? Isn't that the idea? Um, like, I don't know if they ever... I think, yeah, they kind of were. There's like, if you do release the movie, we're going to keep releasing emails and everything. So, yeah, I mean, they basically were. Um, yeah, it's just, it's very, very odd. I, I thought it was odd that they didn't make up a country and a fake leader and everything. I thought that was kind of ballsy. And then just to... And then, like, the whole media handling of all of this, like... The media is doing North Korea's bidding, basically. Oh, yeah. Like, this is exactly what they want American media and media all over the world to do. And they're just they're just like, okay, whatever you say, North Korea, we're cool with it. And they're, they're just doing it exactly. Obviously, North Korea is a very, very horrible place. They do all these horrible things. And all of a sudden, it's just like, ooh, gossip. Ooh, who cares about torturing people and murdering people? This is gossip now. Yeah, and the weird thing to me, though, I mean, I grant, you know, granted, it is ballsy that they did that, right? Like, you know, that they're picking a real country and an actual leader, not like, you know, Stalin or something mm -hmm. like that, you know, like the actual current, you know, in command um, government. But the other, you know, to me, if they had, you know, it would have obviously been an act of war and we, it would have started a whole war. So it wasn't like, you know, it would have been the Sony's fault, you know? Yeah. Like, I would assume that the American government would have totally backed them up, you know? And, <laughs> you would think so. And been like, oh, well, you just blew up a bunch of, you know, mm -hmm. you did a bunch of terrorist acts on our, you know, soil. What happened last time that happened? You remember? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, come on, it was kind of a big deal. In North Korea, I mean, they say, oh, if you do that, we're going to bomb you. We're going to send all this stuff. And, of course, they never do anything. Yeah, they have Because they know they would get annihilated in a war. And so it's just all talk. And but still, everybody backed down. I mean, I kind of under, I understand that if they were to show the movie and something were to happen, that would be very bad, and like you know, that would be the end of your company. But nothing's going to happen. I mean, the blackmail I see happening. I see more hacks. I see Sony and PlayStation hacks. I see, you know, like constant like stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. But in actual acts of violence, I don't see happening. No. Because there's no way to prove that the government was the one that, you know, had the hackers, you know, it's kind of the same thing. It's like, you know, 
was it Russia or was it some crazy extremist or you know was it North Korea or was it just some dude in some his basement in Sweden you know you have no yeah. idea well what I saw today I mean at least the the US government is convinced that Korea was behind the hackers they didn't actually do the hacking but you know they were instructed by North Korea um, so, right um, but yeah and and they also they they released a bunch of movies. This is like the very first thing they did is they released a bunch of movies. And um, I thought that the interview was one of the movies that they leaked out. And so I think you can find it on the internet, but nobody is really talking about that anymore, especially with Pirate Bay being down now. Um, which is also pretty crazy. That also happened, what, like last week? Uh, yeah, early last week it did. So it's been down over a week. And they, you know, they've been shut down and raided before. Uh -huh. But they've never been down longer, I think, than 24 hours. Yeah, I don't I think believe. A, yeah, a day is always like that's the max. Yeah, but like now their Facebook page just went down, and like the creators said, like we're just gonna leave it off. Like it's not worth our time. I mean, they don't make any money. Well, maybe advertise. They probably make a ton of advertising money, but that's. I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I hear it's been resurrected by a few other people, but I haven't really found any. You know, rumors on that or not. So, nothing but rumors. So, of course, I mean, we don't use Pirate Bay because it's illegal and it's stealing. But do you know of people that use it on a regular basis? Um, I've heard I've heard some of my friends mention that they may have used it once or twice. Uh huh. Uh, once, once or twice. That's it. Yep. Okay. I mean, how do you feel about the whole like like Terraria? I do a lot of stuff with Terraria. And uh, the way it's set up, or at least it was at one point, was you had to have a legitimate copy of the game to use mods. Because I'm big on mods, that's what I always do. And so I would see comments all the time of people saying, how do you use mods for a hacked game? And it's like, guys, this is it's a small time developer. It's like literally it's just a guy. And it's a $10 game. I mean, come on. Right. You know? <laughs> I mean, well, that, I'm not you know, okay at all with that level of piracy. Like that, no. You're 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 a dick. Buy the game. <laughs> yeah, and that's the big thing. Like, okay, you know, obviously there's going to be some sort of piracy, you know, and a lot of that has to do with young kids not having, you know, young adults, young kids not having the budget to actually, you know, buy it. So they'll just, you know they'll just steal it but at the same time if everyone pirated it like y you know they, they won't make movies anymore they can't make movies anymore they need to have people go to the theater and people to buy it you know on amazon or rent it on redbox otherwise they'll never be able to make movies no no that's absolutely true and you know games games are the same exact way it's, it's I, 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 some, some things it's like it's like yeah you're sticking it to to the man because they made a bad game and whatever but when it when it comes to small time indie stuff um, I, I think it's a bunch of shit and you should yeah well and even for big games I feel that way too because like I mean it's not like it's this crazy government entity the man making these video games and being mean to you you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like it's actually other gamers like us or that were gamers like us 10 15 years ago making games yeah right I mean so you're really hurting yourself by doing that because they're not gonna get quality guys that want to be in there they're gonna you know spend three years making a game that's gonna just be stolen by everybody on the internet you know? yeah. it's like you know you see it and it's like uh, you know when you think of the man like you think of like the, the execs at EA and you're like yeah screw you but they, they don't have a whole lot to do with anything you know, right. the people that are making the game, they love games and they want to make a really good game. And like their whole performance and, and their livelihood is based off of how well that game sells. Because the, the exec's fine, you know. He, he has his, his, his huge bank account, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he can just fire the people and, and bring in new ones. So I mean, really that's who you're hurting. You're hurting the guy that actually loves games and wants to give you something that you're gonna enjoy you're not you're not hurting the big guys at the top right the one thing though that I will say about pirating is that there are older movies 
that the only way that my friends have been able to find them is by going under the pirate, you know, bay. Because, like, Amazon doesn't have it. Like, mm -hmm. Best Buy won't have it. I'm talking, like, Flight of the Navigator. Like, my favorite movies from, like, 1995, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and the only way to find it is... Like some guy that loves the movie so much, put it on his hard drive and put it out there for everybody else to see it. Yeah, and, so. I, and I, also, I think it's stupid. Like when there's a TV show and it comes out in America, but then it doesn't come out in you know Europe for like five months. It's right. Like, yeah, you just want to watch the show. I mean, you know, that's I don't see a whole lot wrong with that. I think that's a little bit or a lot different than some of the other stuff we talked about. Yeah. I guess more of like the, uh, let's say, The Walking Dead, The Night Of, as it airs 15 minutes later, it's, you know, it's streaming or it's on Pirate Bay or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you know, 26, I'm taking it. I actually, actually I already have a couple the, 26. The gyms I am too. Because I needed to get this next gym up to 25, which I just did. You get anything drop? I did. I did too. I think I got the, I got two of the exact same item, which is... Uh, realistically impossible if you think about it but no no it's totally pure random number generator oh yeah even though oh, I, I got, got go ahead another uh, another S of Jonah or Johan so I have a thousand of those let's see I got a staff though let's see what that is I mean, you how, did get two of the same I told you it was the same it was the same boots that's not even statistically realistically possible and yeah. I got the wormwood. But no, yeah, it's totally, totally pure random number generator. It's totally legit. Yep, it totally is. And I just won the lottery, it's because that that happens too. Go to the store right now and buy a <laughs> ticket. <laughs> buy two of them because you might win it twice. There you go. That's what I should do. It'll be it'll have the exact same number on it twice, <laughs> and then I'll win. Oh, All that's right. pretty much the state of the game. We'll say. Yeah. Yeah, you got some problems, Diablo. I hope you get fixed. But that's it. Anything else you want to throw in? Nope, I'm good. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you guys. See ya.